Hey everyone, let's talk about one of the most remarkable achievements of India in the 20th century. The millennium was about to be over, but for India, it was not an end. It was a new beginning. In the heart of the Thar Desert, under the scorching sun, India was about to shake the world. The year was 1998 and India was on the verge of becoming a nuclear power. But this was not just about tasting a bomb. It was about national pride. It was about strategic autonomy and sending a message to the world. The mission was codenamed Operation Shakti. The journey was very long and it had several challenges. But then there was a political will and a resolve by the Indian scientists, engineers and everyone to make this dream come true. For decades, India had been developing its nuclear capabilities. It was first hinted at in the 1974 Smiling Buddha test. But in 1998, under the leadership of Prime Minister Atal Bihari Bajpayee, India was ready to declare itself as a nuclear state. At that time, Atal Bihari Bajpayee said, we have a responsibility to protect our nation's security. Our actions are not meant to threaten anyone, but to ensure peace and stability. But the world was watching. After the 1974 test, India was under heavy scrutiny from global intelligence agencies like US and even China, Russia and others. The key to success of this operation was absolute secrecy. The tests were planned meticulously with scientists working under the cover of darkness, posing as engineers on routine assignments. Dr. Kalam told scientists, we must ensure that no information leaks. The success of this mission depends on it. Remember, the eyes of the world are upon us. And then came the D-Day. It was on May 11, 1998. The first of five nuclear devices was detonated. The ground shook and a massive plume of dust and debris rose into the sky. It was visible for miles. But this was just the beginning. Over the next two days, four more tests were conducted, including a thermonuclear device. With these tests, India had announced its arrival on the global nuclear stage. But challenges emerged even after that. The world has reacted very swiftly. Sanctions were imposed by United States, Japan and other allies nations. India was criticized for destabilizing the region and particularly by our neighboring country, Pakistan. But within India, the tests were seen as a triumph, a statement of self-reliance and strength. The tests ignited a wave of patriotism across the country. For many Indians, it was a moment of pride, a declaration that India would no longer be dictated by the world powers. The legacy of Operation Shakti is very complex. It propelled India into the exclusive club of nuclear armed nations, but also came with consequences. Just after the nuclear tests, there were diplomatic and economic pressures on India. Several allies of US and US itself has imposed sanctions on India. However, for India, the test was a necessary step. It was necessary for securing its future in a volatile world. There was a very famous statement by former President of India, 
Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam at that time. He said that strength respect strength and not weakness. Strength means military might and economic prosperity. Today, India continues to advocate for global disarmament. But with the knowledge that it possesses the power to defend its sovereignty. You might be aware about India's no first use policy, the nuclear doctrine of India. But at the same time, it has given a confidence that no country will dare to take any such harmful step toward India. It has built a credible minimum deterrence for the country. Operation Sakti remains a pivotal chapter in India's history. It is one such chapter that changed the nation's trajectory forever. The countries like US, Japan and others who had put sanctions on India, they started negotiating a civil nuclear deal with India within a decade. Today, India's nuclear program is being supported by all these countries who once have sanctioned India on its nuclear test. And so, the story of India's nuclear test of 1998 is not just about explosion. It is not just about explosion in the desert. It is about a nation's resolve to chart its own course no matter whatever are the challenges. Thank you very much for watching this. All the best.